Hi everyone. So today's been a really lovely sunny day and I was thinking about what to make for dinner and I realised I had all kinds of vegetables left in the fridge, that, bits of vegetables that sort of needed to be used and I thought, I suddenly thought, yeah, I want to roast vegetables. So I thought, let's do that with a risotto because risotto is a real nice, lovely comfort food but it can also be really summery. So today's recipe is a roasted vegetable Mediterranean summer style risotto. So here's the recipe. The first thing you need is vegetables of choice. I used half a red pepper, half courgette and half an aubergine, but basically just use anything that you have left in your fridge, things that need to be used. Um, and I'm just seasoning that with some salt and pepper. And I've just added in some caraway seeds because I love the flavor of it. It's a really summery flavor. You don't want too much, just a nice sprinkling. Then you're going to add a little bit of olive oil and then some balsamic vinegar. And then you pour that all over and mix it all together. You could add in some garlic and things here, but there's gonna be garlic in the actual risotto. So I've just left it with, with this seasoning for now. Once those are all mixed together, you're going to pop them in the oven at 180 degrees C for about 30 minutes. After 15 minutes, give them another mix up and then give them another 15. While the veggies are cooking in the oven, just heat up some oil in a pan and then you're going to add in one onion. Then add in two large cloves of garlic. And then you're gonna cook that down gently until it's all translucent and soft. Then it's time to add in any herbs that you like. I used tarragon today because I felt like it went really well with the caraway seeds, the sort of aniseedy flavour, um, but use any herbs that you like. Then it's time to add in your risotto rice. I used 100 grams of risotto rice and that's enough for about two people. Um, obviously if you've got more people, double up the ingredients. Um, you're going to stir that up whilst it's still dry in the pan and get it coated with the onions and the garlic. Then it's time to add in some white wine. I used about 100 ml so it's a fairly decent glass of wine and you're going to cook that until the liquid has pretty much absorbed into the rice. Then you're going to add some stock. This is vegetable stock, about 250 ml. You might find you need a little bit more than that. Um, you're going to add this gradually, so add a little bit, stir it, stir it, stir it, keep stirring until the liquid has absorbed and then add a little bit more and then keep doing that process for about 25 to 30 minutes. It's quite lengthy but it's totally worth it. So just keep going until your risotto becomes really nice and creamy. And then towards the end of the cooking time I added in some fresh chives. You can leave it here, but I decided to add in a little bit of uh, vegan creme fraiche. This is from Oakley, it's one of their new ones, it's really, really nice. Um, you could also add in some vegan cheese here as well, or you could just leave it just as it was. Then it's time to add in all of those lovely roasted vegetables. So just pop them all into the pan and stir it all together. Then it's time to dish it up and I suggest serving it alongside a lovely glass of cold white wine and preferably sitting outside in the sunshine.
That was our uh, risotto recipe for today, and it's really delicious. It's really a, a, a lighter risotto. It's not heavy with cheese and things, although of course you could add vegan cheese if you wanted to. Um, but it's really quite light, lots of summery flavors, and you can basically add in any vegetables that you've got left in the fridge, any herbs that you've got, dried or fresh. Um, some basil would be really nice. Things like thyme and rosemary, but that would make it a little bit more wintry flavors. But anything like fennel, if you've got some fennel in the fridge, that would be amazing. Um, so yeah, just go, go with what you've got and uh, roast it up and put it in and a nice splash of, of wine in there as well. If you haven't got white wine, stick some rosé in. Keep it simple. If you haven't got any wine, stick some bubbles in. So just adapt it to how what you have in the fridge right now and um, what you like. So that's it for today and uh, remember to subscribe to the channel. You can do that by clicking the button below, click the bell to be notified and my Instagram details are just here. And uh, I love to see all your photos so please tag me in when you make any of the recipes. There's been loads this week and it's really nice to see. So uh, yeah, enjoy this lovely summer's evening and take care of yourselves and see you in the next recipe. Bye.